China is displaying the export version of its domestically developed attack helicopter, the Z-10Mi, for the first time at the Singapore Air Show, which will be held between February 20 and 25. Handles on X, formerly Twitter, showed the Z-10Mi at the static display in a desert light brown and green color scheme. While the Z-10 would not be participating in a flying display, its primary competitor at the air show appears to be the AH-64E Apache, two of which would also be placed in a static display. One aircraft would be from the U.S. Army, while the other Apache is an AH-64D from the Republic of Singapore Air Force. The Z-10Mi is the export variant of China's latest attack helicopter, which is already in service with the People's Liberation Army. It has a range of roughly 1,120 kilometers and an empty weight of around roughly 5,100 kilograms. It fires a 23-millimeter chin-mounted cannon and four external hardpoints that can hold air-to-ground, air-to-air, and rocket launchers. Both the left and the right-hand side weapon stubs can carry up to 16 anti-tank guided missiles, four multiple seven-barrel rocket launchers, or two multiple 32-barrel rocket launcher pods, depending on the nature of the mission. The Z-10Mi also features what looks like missile approach warning sensors on the side chin, under the weapon stubs, a sand filter for the engine intakes, and heavier armor to withstand small arms fire. Chinese media claims the Z-10 is easier to maintain, has greater range, and is faster and more maneuverable than the Eurocopter Tiger. The power plant is capable of supporting operations in high altitude and ratified atmosphere. It is not clear if the rest of the Z-10s with the PLA or the export-oriented Z-10 may also fly with the same power plant. Nevertheless, the presence of a millimeter wave radar on the mast, above the main rotors, suggests the Z-10 is somewhere largely designed to be comparable to the American AH-64 Apache's longbow variant. The systems are fire control radars that target and guide many of the long-range anti-tank missiles and other air-to-ground munitions.